Time now to get to the final trade of the day. For that, we have Mike Shore, Prosper Trading Academy, joining us. And Mike, what's your trade? I'm looking at Microsoft. Uh, what all this Apple news affords us is that oftentimes because they are both big players in the tech sector, that anything that negative that happens to Apple gets pulled on eventually onto Microsoft, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense. There's not an overlap there, but because of their both big components in the triple Q. So what you do is you look for support areas as Apple gets traded down for Microsoft to get to that support. So I've been trading off of the 302 level in Microsoft. And essentially what you do is you wait till it gets down there. Uh, this late in the week, you probably want to go out to next Friday, but the, the 300, 302, 305 calls, buying those and then have your, uh, have your stop set a reasonable level below that and then just trade off of that, trade Microsoft off the Apple news. Is this trade something that you would do without options? Uh, well, that, what, the way that I treat options are as a trading vehicle and, uh, and stock as an investment vehicle. So this is, this is strictly a short term, but if you're, if you're a day trading stocks, which is more capital intensive and uh, less efficient, in my estimation, but you certainly could. Same sort of level. Mike, I'd love to get your thoughts on the overall action in the stock market. Uh, it looks like we're getting, at least late in the week, we're getting a rotation out of tech because of Apple and then into your Dow components and the bigger players in the S&P. The market still is bullish. And so you're looking for, you're looking in, in the tech space, you're looking to get that wish list out, look for those support areas and those that you like. Always a pleasure, Mike. Thanks for being here and thank you for your trade. Thanks a lot for having me. Go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.